I am so excited for the next couple weeks of the show. I cannot wait. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, episode 128 of the Sun and Moon anime titled The Curtain Rises, the Alola Pokemon League just dropped, and this is the episode before the tournament begins, where our heroes get to Manalo Island and their reunions are plenty, both good and bad. How did it go for everyone? Well, let's find out. The episode begins with our heroes on a boat on their way to Manalo Stadium. Kyawe calls out the island as soon as he spots it and the rest of our heroes come over to check it out. They're in awe of the island and behind them we see that Lily has transformed into her Z form, basically with her hair up similar to the Aether Foundation arc and she says that her mother told her that the entire Aether Foundation worked on constructing it. She also says that she's in her Z form as she calls in the game because this is the Pokemon League which gets Ash and everyone else hyped. They arrive at the island and Ash is super excited to use the battlefield but Kiawe tells him that they need to enter the tournament first and Kakui tells him that that's not until evening. So. While he can go see it, he can't battle in it yet, which bums Ash out. But he also says that they should go explore the rest of Manalo Stadium because as Lily puts it, this place is more than just a battlefield. It has Pokemon Center, shopping malls, dinners, etc. Kukui says that he would love to show them around, but he is busy and as he gets called by his stage end, he has to head out. Ash then says that the first place he's headed towards is the battlefield, and he does so with Kiawe and Sophocles following him. The girls on the other hand decide to go to the shopping mall while they wait for the evening. Outside the stadium, Team Rocket is getting ready to sell their Manalo donuts since their early release sold so well. However, Jesse says that they're here to win the Alola League, remember? James then reminds her that securing funds is also important. When they see a stubble walk by, however, they freak out, looking around for beware. But it just turns out to be some other girl Stuffle. James talks about how they took preventative measures to get Stuffle off their back is by building Beware and Stuffle a hot spring. Ash arrives at the battlefield and he gets hyped seeing it. He says that he's gonna win the league and so do both Kiawe and Sophocles. As they're talking, we see Hal, who's also participating in the league, come up and say hello to Ash with Hala behind him. Sophocles is confused but Ash explains to him that Hal is Hala's grandson. After that, both Kiawe and Sophocles introduce himself to him and Ash notices that Hao also has a Z-Ring and Hao says that he cleared his grandfather's trial to get that. Hao also shows us the fact that now his Dartrix has evolved into a Decidueye. He says that they're training so hard so that they don't lose to Rowlet again. Ash wants to bring out Rowlet so he can see and he tries to but it keeps sleeping. Also in the bag sleeping is Meltan who Ash introduces to Hao. After Decidueye pecks Rowlet a couple times, it wakes up and sees and gets shocked and dabs the Decidueye. Ash says that Rowlet may look the same, but it's gotten stronger and Hao says that he can't wait to battle Ash. Hao asks Hala if he can explore the area with Ash and they all head off. We cut to the mall where the girls are just walking along looking at everything. We see a shop that contains toys of Shaman, replica gym badges among other things. Lana then notices a pineapple juice store and they all decide to go for it. When they call out the person running the store, turns out it's Mallow's brother. She introduces Shaman to him and he explains that he's back in Alola to see the league but he opened the store when he heard that there was space. He asks why she's there and she tells him that she along with everyone else is participating in the league and he wishes her well and says he'll cheer her on. In a random corner below some stairs we see Team Skull grunts sitting down. They talk about smashing the Alola league and they're doing this without Guzma's permission. Since Guzma doesn't like Kukui and he told Kukui last time that he would smash the league, they're going to do it for him and make Guzma happy, even though that they don't have a plan. Some random Team Skull grunts are scribbling on the poster of Mass Royal when Officer Jenny sees them and they flee. The girls come up behind her and ask what's happening and she tells them that there have been people throwing garbage around the place and picking fights with trainers and strangers and she tells them to be careful. The girls say that they will stop them if they see them. Who's that Pokemon? It's a Alolan Raticate. Back to Team Rocket and they have a line of people waiting for the donuts when all of a sudden three Team Skull Grunts come up and threaten people. Jesse and James try to act diplomatic and try to just get them to go back in line until they kick down the donut sign and that's when it's on. James calls out his Marini and Jesse says that they are going to kick them out by force. Cut to a few Pokemon being knocked out and we see that that wasn't Team Rocket it, but rather, these were grunts who were beaten by Gladium. He says that this wasn't even a warm up for the league. Cut back to Team Rocket and we see another set of KO'd Pokemon and this time, Jesse's the one to say that this wasn't even a warm up to the league. 
the three Team Skull grunts run away and Jesse Iron ironically talks about how these guys do the same thing over and over and try different results. What are they thinking? Wubba Fett's reaction here is hilarious and really says it all. We cut to the guys and Hal walking along when we hear some screaming and see that Team Skull members are trashing the place using their Pokemon and literal garbage. Ash calls them out and they see that it's our heroes from the Pokemon school. However, they say that they're doing this for Guzma and will smash them. Ash remembers the name Guzma and Team Skull say that they're going to hurt them so bad they're not going to be able to participate in the league. He always says that that's not happening and calls out his Terminator. Ash calls out his Pikachu and Rowlet, Sophocles calls out his Vikavolt, and Hal calls out his Decidueye. The Grunts call out their Zubat, Garbodor, and Solander as well. The battle is on and the battle begins with Garbodor using Sludge Bomb and Terminator countering it with Flamethrower. Then Solander goes for Scratch and Pikachu uses Iron Tail to block it followed by Rowlet who uses Seed Bomb to knock it out. Zubat is about to attack with Bite when Decidueye dodges and counters with Razor Leaf and that's that. Even though our heroes won, Soft Lease is bummed because he didn't get a chance to participate in this battle. Ash asks them why they're doing this when everyone is excited for the league and they respond that not everyone is excited for the league and that the league should burn. However, just before Kiawe can say anything back, Guzma and Plumeria appear. He asks the Grump what they're doing and they explain that they were just destroying the league. He says that it could be fun to destroy our heroes and get ready to battle them when the girls come up behind the guys and bring with them both Hala and Kakui. Kakui goes up to Guzma and confronts him and asks him why he's here and he just says that he's just accepting Kakui's invitation to the league. He says that once it's accepted, he's going to dominate the league and shatter Kakui's dreams. He says that once he becomes champion, he will make sure they will never hold another league again before leaving. A little bit of time passes and we see Kakui's bummed and Lily asks why Guzma is so obsessed with Kakui. Hala explains to the kids that Guzma and Kakui used to be his apprentice, but Guzma would always go against his teachings. We see a flashback where Guzma is yelling at Kakui and Hala about the old ways of Alola. He says that he doesn't need Z-Rings or Z-Crystals to become strong, and he that he's going to become strong in his own way and storms off. Hala says that he should have taught him better, and he regrets that he wasn't able to save him. Kakui says that it wasn't Hala's fault, only if he had talked to him more, it would have been able to save him maybe. Everyone's a bit bummed out when Ash says that He's not going to lose to Guzma. Everyone who he has met in Alola has been so nice to him and he's looking forward to facing all of his friends in the league. Not only that, but Kakui's been working so hard to make this league happen, so he's going to refuse to lose to him. And the rest of his friends join him and say the same, that they are not going to lose to him. This makes Kakui happy. We cut to nighttime when everyone is signed up for the league and are in the stadium getting ready to eat. Ash and everyone else calls out all their Pokemon to eat as well. Ash then spots an Alolan Executor and it turns out that it's Principal Oak in the costume. He says that he's also going to participate in the league as well. How, by the way, is baffled by his speech pattern. We also see the girls running towards someone and it's Alima. Not our hero's girl, just, you know, random girls. And it looks like he's also going to participate in the league. Ash is about to go say hi to him, but he's trampled by another set of random girls. As he's getting up, he's approached by none other than Gladian, who's also participating in the league, and Gladian says that he'll win. We see Guzmo in the corner peeved about everyone having a good time. A bit later, Kukui assembles everyone and says that he has a message from the Mass Royal. In the announcement video, the Mass Royal says that the first part of the league is going to be a 151 person battle royal with 16 competitors advancing to the end. And that is the end of the episode. The after credit scene is Beware and Stuffle chilling in the hot springs at night. This is a great episode to set up the league. It basically did everything you need in order to set up some a tournament like this. Old Face is returned, everyone who's important is given some moment to shine, and we set up a main conflict for the League, which in this case is a conflict between Guzma and Kukui. Everything is laid out well here. Guzma is participating, but surprisingly, Plumeri isn't. You only face her twice in the game, so she isn't that big of a deal in the games either, but I'm surprised she isn't part of it. It could have made it more interesting of a what if, if for example, even though this would never happen, Guzma had to go up against her. Just a thought. The backstory between Kukui and Guzma, I'm glad it's the same as the game. The conflict of the old ways versus the new ways. I wonder if this means that Ash is basically the surrogate for Kukui if it's going to be Ash versus Guzma in the final, or it's going to be Ash versus Gladion with Gladion beating him. Something like that. I think it's going to be an interesting battle dynamic either way. No Brock and Misty are back, which are surprising to me, but they've already had four episodes, so they probably just want to keep them special, not overexpose them. I do hope that we do see some more of Ash's companions from the past show up for the league. Also, I actually don't mind the battle royale concept simply because it's just going to be a tool to get to the actual tournament. I much prefer this to random 1v1s or 2v2s or trainers that we've never seen and will never see. 
Not only that, but I think this will be a great opportunity to see everyone's Pokemon and how they're going to battle, especially for our classmates who don't battle as much. So the episode is great, zero to complain about. If you haven't seen it, go ahead and watch it. I don't really have much to say here, it's a great episode, but beside the Guzma Kukui thing, it's more like a reunion episode, so it's just fun to watch. But next episode, that's when the real tournament league begins and I can't wait for that. The next episode preview shows a battle royale of tons of our heroes in massive battle. The episode is called a battle royale of 151, so expect a ton of battling next episode. I never complain about that. One thing from the preview that was great is that Team Rocket looks like they're going to be dressed as Cena and Dexio. That's awesome. But besides that, that is it from our review of Pokemon Sun and Moon episode 128. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, like, share, subscribe. Tell me in the comments what your thoughts for the league are. What are you expecting? What are your predictions? Just let me know. You can follow me on Twitter at TheRealPDGaming and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.